in nature. And it's a beautiful day. We have the birds chirping back behind me. Look at the sun beaming down. That lovely air coming in right now. What a beautiful time to be alive. Recently, I've been getting a question about how to love yourself more. What would that look like? Well, the first thing that I think that everybody could do to love themselves just a little bit more is to appreciate their accomplishments. So when you have a goal, rather that's to wake up at a certain time, eat at a certain time, go to a, uh, go to a game or anything like that. When you accomplish those things, it's important to say, I did that. I had an idea and I followed through with that. And that makes my life just that much more exciting. And we can appreciate those things through gratitude and by meditating, by thinking about what a good time that I had. You know, the second thing that I think everybody could do to love themselves a little bit more is to accept compliments. When you're walking down the street and someone says, hey, I like your backpack, or I like your shirt. Those are nice things that you can say, I know that might be socially awkward at times because I didn't expect to get a compliment, but at the same time, that makes you wonder, what if I gave someone a compliment too, you know? And you pass that on because then you can make someone feel as great as you did when someone gave you that compliment because you may have not thought about how cool your shoes really are. And then someone comes along and says, I really like those. And by sharing compliments, you just spread love in another way that is expressing giving and receiving. So a third thing that I think anybody could do today to love themselves just a little bit more is to notice and become aware of your comparisons. The only person that I compare myself to is who I was yesterday. And I think that everybody should do the same. We are all on different paths and different experiences in this journey. And it's important to understand that you are only going against yourself. It's only you against you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be some fight of, well, what if I feel that I didn't do so great today versus yesterday? You are still the same person. You have those capabilities. It's okay to understand that you're going to have off days. But that doesn't mean that you should compare other people because you get inspired. Like you may see a really jacked person at the gym and wonder, oh, I want to look like them. Or you go to the beach and you see someone and they look the way that you think that you should look and you get really envious and you want to look that way. But that's okay because inspiration is what drives everybody. So that's a good thing that you're still wondering about how you could do better, but you're only going against yourself. And that's okay because hey, I'm coming for who I was yesterday. You know, because I'm trying to be nicer than that guy. I'm trying to be kinder and more respectful always so that I reach my full potential. Because right now, I am my full potential and so are you. A fourth thing that we all can do to love ourselves just a little bit more is to practice being in the present. Being here right now where I can feel the wind and the birds, and the sun that comes down. I know that I'm having a wonderful day because I can experience these things and share them with you. So by being in the moment, I'm not rushing anything. I'm just being. And the only way to feel at peace is to understand where you are at, spiritually, physically, mentally, but by practicing the present, like Leonardo da Vinci once said, the noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding.
So once we understand, we become at peace. We can reach peace through meditation, which brings us ultimately to the present. A fifth thing that I think anybody could do to bring themselves to love themselves a little bit more is to understand that we have imperfections, but you, as long as myself, are both perfectly imperfect. We may not have perfect symmetry. Uh, my left hand may not look exactly like my right hand, or I feel that I might throw better with my left hand than my right hand. These things don't make you imperfect because one is stronger or weaker than another. It just shows you that with your body, you excel in certain areas with one part of your body, and you excel in another way. So, you may lo not look exactly how you want to, but the joy is to appreciate yourself completely, to love every aspect of yourself. So, when we have these imperfections, it's kind of like a leaky faucet under your sink. And when people drive by your house, they don't know about what's under your sink because they're not inside of your house, they're only on the outside. They can only know these things if you let them in. So it's important to really grasp the idea that you are perfect because you are imperfect. By knowing this, the sixth thing that I think that anybody could do to love themselves just a little bit more is to focus on people who build around you. When we focus on people who build around us, we can minimize our time with people who are breaking down. People who break down are these people who backstab you, these people who lie to you, these people who act like an imposter, someone they're not, to gain leverage over other people. Look out for the narcissists, the people who are egocentric, can't seem to think about other people, and the people who simply do not want you to succeed. So by minimizing the time with these people, you can find yourself at peace by feeling that you have a clear set boundaries and you have friends around you who love and care about you. So it's important to have these types of people around you who love you and respect you to ultimately help build up the confidence you have to love yourself. Number seven, trust yourself completely. When you trust yourself to follow through with the things that you love, you will get it done. Time is a factor. That's why we wanna go do it really fast, but it's important to be in the moment and take it slow. When we slow down the macro and we speed up the micro, we will eventually get there. Just try to do a couple of things today, and then over time, you will have accomplished so much that you will have no idea that just doing those couple of things a day could build you such greatness. So it's important to trust yourself and to love yourself 100% by accepting and being in the moment. And I just wanted to thank you for joining me for calmness and tranquility. Peace.